For the past six years, I have been trying to explain to people here on this channel, as well as in private conversations, why it is so important to own physical gold and silver. Just this past Labor Day, I was asking a family member what his guess would be as to the demand for gold and silver by looking at the falling prices the past four years. He said that it appears that the demand for such metals is low and has been falling for years. I told him no. Actually, the demand for gold and silver, especially the past couple years, has been very high. I think that the reason why many people don't understand how the price can drop while demand rises has to do with their understanding of the stock market and how they assume it would be the same for a physical metal market. If there's a lot of selling, the price will drop, and if tons of people are buying, the price will rise. Unfortunately, when I tried to explain the disconnect between the paper COMEX market used to determine the spot price and the true value of an ounce of gold or silver, I tend to get the deer in the headlight stare. Once I understood the fraudulent paper markets and the charade that they really are, I knew that one day it would not matter. And whether that day is next week or five years from now, at this point, I really don't care. As of April of this year, I have been 100% out of the stock market. And if the chart you have been looking at during this video doesn't convince you that you need to own physical gold and silver, I don't know what will. There is currently over 200 ounces of gold claims per ounce of deliverable gold and represents the lowest coverage ratio in the history of the COMEX. I have been expecting a COMEX default at some point for years and this chart sure looks like we're getting closer but there's no sure thing and the evil banks pulling the strings very well may have more tricks under their sleeves. However, the day the COMEX cannot deliver the physical metal requested and is forced to do a cash settlement is the day the house of cards comes tumbling down. And after the dust settles, the real price of gold and silver, based on the actual amount of metal in circulation, rather than the inflated amount of paper that has turned into Federal Reserve notes, will result in the actual price being at much higher levels whenever the day comes that that final piece of straw breaks a camel's back. Those holding physical gold and silver will be many times more comfortable than the people scrambling to attain real money for thousands of years at a point in time when it's almost unattainable.